Okay, starting off my second year with the Attack DPX 45s uh, gasification boiler. I thought I would detail tonight a revised startup procedure that's a little bit simpler than what I've uh, shown before. Uh, basically, what I do is to prepare the firebox, uh, any remaining charcoal is stacked directly over the nozzle, which is basically right, right below here. And I put a put a split a split on each side. Uh, I also cleared out if there was a little fine ash. I took some of that out. Uh, I don't like to allow that to build up too deep. And so we're ready to start. I'm going to start the inducer fan on the boiler, or start the boiler basically. And the other thing I want to do is. Uh, the bypass in the back of the back of the boiler, which is too dark to see, but the bypass is actuated by this lever. Lever. So when the loading door is closed, it closes the bypass. But for the starting procedure, we want to have that closed with the door open. And I can either hold it, or if I, there's a catch, and it's it's, it's spring loaded. So it will, will hold it there for me. And now what I'm going to do is start my propane torch. And now the air is being sucked down through the coal bed, charcoal bed. And all I need to do is wave the propane torch over just a little bit. Like about 30 seconds tops. And you can see the coals light right up. Plenty good. Shut off my torch. Now I'll continue with loading loading wood. If you've got some smaller scraps, put it right on the coal bed. You don't have to necessarily. You can just go with full size splits. And let's load up load up the boiler. See those coals are getting pretty hot already. And once they're lit pretty well, you can open the bypass again. Continue with loading. This method I didn't really need a, you know, a few scraps of kindling doesn't hurt. I don't need paper, I don't need fire starters. I just need a propane torch. It's kind of hard to do this one hand. And now we just basically need to wait. Leave the door open a little bit, and we want to watch our flue temps. I like to see about 250 degrees Fahrenheit, and I close the door. Or there's also on this boiler, there's a bar graph that starts lighting up as the temperatures come up. And once that once that's completed, made it all the way over to this side. The boiler door is ready to close and it's away you go. Anyway, probably take about a few minutes here. You can see that the flames are going over that hole bed a little bit. And again, we want to see our flue temps around 200, 250 degrees. Yeah, we close the door and away we go. That's it.